What is up my friends, my name is Veiku and today we are going to do some more double battling on Pokemon Sword and Shield. And I released my rental team last week which was called Veiku, now I have modified it and I came up with the genius idea of calling it Veiku 2. Anyways, it is my own team, I've, as, as I spoke last time I have been studying a lot on EV spreads, IV spreads, stuff like that. Anyways, I'm going to talk about more about the team in the end of the video because you guys are here for the double battles. But here's the team, here's the rental code. The rental code will also be uh, in the description. So this is a modified uh, version of my uh, last week's team. I haven't tried this one yet. And if you guys want to try the last week's team, there should be a uh, white box in the upper corner right about now. Anyways, on to the battles. Alright, guys, yeah, opposing trainer has been found and... Oh, it's a weird looking team indeed. Is it a trick run team? It's definitely a trick run team. Which means... Why is Whimsy got here? I do have Taunt. But, okay, they are plucking the water. I think actually, hmm, I do have Taunt on my Whimsicott, as you guys have seen, but uh, Whimsicott's a bad matchup here in general. Hmm. Trampa. What I think I'm going to do is lead with the sand team here. It might seem a bit weird. Let's take Clefable and let's try the new Duraludon. Maybe it can take care of the Tramba later on. I at least think I have an idea how to deal with this trick room. I think both Whimsicott and Chandelure are there to use the trick room, so it, it'll be hard. Uh, my wings got half torn, but I mean, the sand seems nice. We can break the focus dashes. We can rock slide and target something with Tyranitar. I don't see any redirection moves on their team. Tower Master, Tower Master, yeah. This was what I was kind of afraid of. So I think uh, both of them can do the trick room. That's probably the idea behind this team. Which means I have to play pick an opponent. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use Dark Pulse on the Chandelure and use a Rock Slide, but... Hmm. The Whimsicott has Prankster, so if it doesn't get KO'd, it can do the Trick Room anyways, which is kinda bad. But if I KO the Whimsicott here... Let's try this one and see what's going to happen here. It's a weird, it's a weird lead, it's a weird lead, I haven't seen it... ...before. Tailwind, okay, no Trick Room. So it was either Trick Room or Tailwind, that's smart. I can get behind that. Some nice damage there. Chandelure is pretty bulky. Heat wave. That's fine, that's fine. I could have just Dynamax Tyran in there. Ooh, I got burned. But we are special. Which I am about to reveal now. So, I guess we will be fighting on Tailwind then. So, this guy is all about the speed control. And one of these Pokemon had uh, Focus Stash, and we've definitely broken it, so that's good. Excatrill is Sand Rush, and the Sand is up, so even with the Tailwind, it might outspeed most of the Pokemon. Well trained! The Sylveon, the well trained. So, what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to Dynamax the Tyranitar here. Ooh, but Duraludon is like really good to Dynamax here as well. But Fire Blast is not 
I think I have to get rid of the Whimsicott as well. Oh my god. Oh. Hmm. Let's double in the Desilvion here. Let's see what's... I, I'm predicting Dynamax. No, quick attack. Okay, nice. We'll get some nice cheap damage. Giga Drain, Giga Drain. My Tyrandar is very bulky and you will just proc our weakness policy, which is nice. Thank you very much. So this earth power should do like 50%. Ooh, 30. What the? All right. Wimsy got also a little bit of a problem here. I wonder if I should use... I think it's time for Duraludon now, because... Redirection with Clefable is... Ooh, I was actually supposed to switch... Yeah, I have a shiny Duraludon, by the way, and it, it is mine. What I'm going to do... This might seem a bit weird, but I do want to get rid of the Wimsy got here. Hopefully we'll connect with the Fire Blast, but I don't think Tyrander will be here to attack, maybe. Yeah, I have uh, safety goggles on my Clefable, but I have I have a um, safeguard as well. Which I should... Uh, I was thinking on switching to Life Dew, because if, I, if, if the opponent is trying to uh, sleep me with Spore, I can just follow me and it doesn't affect, so I don't really maybe need the safeguard. Anyways, let's focus on this match. Substitute. That's Whimsicott. Yeah, that's totally fine. Hyper Voice. Tyranidar lives to see another day. Throat Spray. Tricky matchup here. First, first one of the day. I can already tell it's going to be difficult to Difficult to get wins here. It's a new season and people are playing a lot. I mean, the Whimsicott is not a huge threat here. Hopefully we'll connect here. Nice, break the sub. And then some cheap damage with the sand as well. Also, my opponent hasn't used the Dynamax with some kind of worried. I was kind of hoping on getting rid of the Weems got earlier, but... It's a Milotic, which is actually pretty good for us, maybe. I am super tempted... Oh, yeah. I mean, Moonblast to Weems got would be great. Also, follow me the protected Duraludon, which is already a bit damaged here. But maybe a helping hand Max Lightning would be good here as well. Or should I get rid of the Whimsicott? Giga Train shouldn't help my opponent too much here. I like the substitute Giga Drain set, by the way. It's really good and... Usually, if you let the Whimsicott stay the whole game there, you're going to lose, which is a bad thing for us. Hopefully, this is not a weakness policy. Milotic, it's going to outspeed us as well, which is bad. I should have probably followed me there. Taunt, yeah, that was expected. That's totally fine, we are going to Moonblast you anyways. Max Hailstorm into... Draldon. We are Assault Wested, so... Max Hail doesn't really matter, and this Lightning should do quite a lot of damage. We are Modest, and Helping Hand, yeah, 50%. My Lodig is pretty bulky. Oh my god, this Wimsy God is here to stay. Oh boy. Alright, so now we can only Moonblast here. We are running a little bit low, so this is where the life dew would be great, but... 
think at this turn we are actually going to... Max Darkness would lower the special defense. We are just going to get rid of the Whimsicott here. It, it is an starting annoy me. Yes, we called it correctly. It's going to substitute. That is totally fine. It's time for you to go. Unfortunately, Drelodon is faster than Clefable, but Clefable should actually hit pretty hard with the Moonblast. It's only a Whimsicott, even though it's... <laughs> it's an annoying, annoying Whimsicott. Come on, get out of here. KO it. No! Hail. The hail. The hail, yes. <laughs> Oh my god, first battle and we're already trying to knock out the Whimsicott here. So I can't protect here, which is bad. I can't follow me because I'm taunted here, so... Great play by my opponent. It's probably going to KO my... Hmm... I am taunted, yep. There's nothing I can do and I'm Assault Wested, so... I can only do Moonblast with Clefable and I can only attack with... Should I Traco Meteor? No. So hopefully my Duralodon lives to see another day. I'm not feeling too comfortable with it. You can also target the Clefable. You know that. Ugh, no. Oh, no. Oh, critical hit. That might have mattered. That might have actually mattered. We got super unlucky there. Come on, Clefable. <laughs> you can do it, Clefable. I mean, hmm, we are taunted, so this is difficult, but... I'm sure this thing has recovered. I'm really sure. Recover! Don't do it! No! Why are you so annoying? You have a Whimsicott that is there to stay forever and... Ugh... My Lodic that is going to stay there forever on the field. It's actually not bad damage and with the hail. You're no longer taunted, but there's nothing I can do here. We'll just need a critical hit as the day get. They get a critical hit too. Scold. Let's see. Okay. No no burn. Oh come on, what is up with this guy? Is this guy the luckiest guy ever? Or she? Gets the crit and gets the burn. Come on. Dude, that is not fair. And in the first try. Oh no, he got the burn and now he's going to recover again and I'm going to chip away. This match is gonna take forever. That's why I, I used the Corviknight before, but I didn't have a roost on it or something. I don't like these matches that track on forever. I mean... You know, you can do whatever you have to do to win, but... Oh, come on. Just attack. Please don't recover, you already got the burn and the crit. Oh. No. Ooh, we got the crit, but it doesn't matter because we are burned. Dude, are you just going to recover forever? Yes, you are. Scold, okay. Come on, Clefable. Hit that. Ooh. That's nice. That's not good. Alright, so we got our... We are going to lose. I'm going to click Moonblast one more time and... If the opponent recovers, I'm going to forfeit the game. We know we're already lost. If I, if they attack now and I don't get KO'd and I get a crit, we can win this. Yep. Alright. That was the first battle, but I think I, I did fairly well. Comment below what, what could I have done differently, but they got pretty lucky.
All right, on to the nether battle. We are fighting against Bobby, who is using a new Gigantamax Machamp, if I've had to guess. There's a Togetic as well, is, is, is that its name? It's definitely a Trick Room team that has a Rodam in it. Hmm. Okay, so I do have Taunt once again, but it seems they have Redirection here. Which I have something for as well. So the Togetic is going to use follow me and I can't do nothing about it, but... I can try my new new tactic here. Let's see. Should I bring the sand team on the back? Also, I could just actually use Whimsicott, but... Hmm, Machamp and... I mean, Greta seems pretty nice here, but which one do I bring? Excatrill can survive two hits, but one hit. I think Tyrander has better coverage. Let's try our best. I haven't really been... This is not uh, what I created the team for, and it might seem weird, but... These matchups are not good for us. Ding -ding -ding. I mean, I changed the Trugabolt. I, I really like the Trugabolt, but I think my team was a little bit too frail. Yeah, that's the lead I was predicting. I think Duraludon brings a little bit more bulk into the team. Screens would be nice here too, so... They are going to follow me with Dogatic and use Trick Room on Renegless. But I can do Helping Hand and Duraludon's ability lets, lets it to hit through. Uh, follow me. Follow me doesn't affect Duraludon, so maybe we can get a one-hit KO here, hopefully. I don't know if Helping Hand... My Duraludon is also modest, so... It's always hard to fight these Trick Room teams if you um, if you don't have Pokemon that can function well in Trick Rooms. I know the best teams have like fast Pokemon and super slow Pokemon as well, so they can adapt. But this is my own team and I really like it, so I'm going to use it. So Helping Hand is gonna come out and follow me from Togedig. No follow me, so they are predicting that. That is an easy KO. Easy KO. No trick room in this match. And Togedic special defense goes down. I wonder what the Togedic is going to do here. Yeah, and that's really smart as well, so it's a good good team there. If I safeguard now, am I safe? Am I safe if I safeguard now? I don't know that. I am already yawned, so that's bad. I do have safeguard on me. I need to test it out here. Also, the Togedic can only do yawns in this match, I think. Oh, Ro Rotom could have Trick Room as well. But I'm going to safeguard here. Hopefully I don't get to sleep if I have the safeguard up. What should I do? I should probably get rid of the Togedic here. Let's do that. And I'm going to safeguard and get rid of the Togetic. Yeah, I was kind of predicting on the road down the Dynamax here, but... Uh, we'll get after the road down next turn. Hopefully we can survive whatever it throws at us. Follow me. Alright, we are going to hit you anyway. And we're going to use safeguard, Max Flare, into Duraludon. Oh, okay. We are alive, which is good. And let's see if my safeguard trick works here. Goodbye, Togedic. I mean, you gotta respect the person who uses a Togedic. I've been wondering that. Could you use Togedic with Eviolite as well, so... It's a cool, cool trick there, dude. Let's see the safeguard. Are we going to still fall asleep here? Which is which, which would be bad. Yes, we are. Well, that's not great. That's not great at all. 
Save if you're already yawned, you can safeguard and they have Machamp. This is turning out to be a bad matchup for us. Hopefully they target my Duralodon. It's a sitting duck here. I think I have Gyarados in the back, which can deal with the Rodom and Tyranidar is pretty good matchup as well, so we only need to defeat the matchup now. And it doesn't really matter what I'm going to do here because I'm going to be asleep here. Hopefully I get the moon blast off. That's what I'm aiming for. That's perfect. We are going to survive this. Hopefully the matchup goes after Duralodon here. That's some nice damage there. Okay, yeah. I mean, we still have to deal with an Dynamax Road down here, but... I think I'm going to save the Gyarados for now. Ooh, but the Machamp definitely has Mark Punch, which is bad. If I go here, how much time do I have? If I go here and... It's probably going to be the fastest one on the field as well, so... Decisions, decisions, but the time is running out. Let's see, I am max speed, so if this uh, road arm is not invested in speed, I should be fine. So what should I do here? I should probably... Uh, why did I do this? <laughs> why did I do this? Let's do this here. I still need to bounce here. To stall out the Dynamax here. Bounce is probably going to get get me KO'd anyway for the Rodan, but it's going to miss. Yes, perfect. And Moonblast is gonna take out the Machamp. Is at least uh, it's three against one here. At least it's three against one, you guys. I'm sorry if I talk too much. I'm just super excited. As you guys know, I'm not no professional player about I like to play and I enjoy and it doesn't matter if I lose or win but we'll always be going for those wins so actually if I follow me here I can save the Gyarados but does it really do anything for me the Sun is up so it's not gonna do should I follow me and sir uh, save the Gyarados here Uh, or should I attack the row down here? I'm going to save the Gyarados. It's a 3 against 1 and I can't screw this up, but I'm probably going to do here. Let's see. I'm going to bounce here. Ah, oh, that's beautiful damage and whatever. Yeah. Maybe that was smart actually. Because now Gyarados outspeeds again and... Probably the main damage here. I'm going to go for a helping hand waterfall. The sun is up, which is going to negate a lot, but power whip is not 100% accurate, so... And we already know my Gyarados is faster. Oh yeah! The battle was cancelled. We take the wins. We take the wins, you guys. And on to the last battle. Whoa, this team... There's some unconventional Pokemon here. What? I have no idea what I'm <laughs> up against here. There's definitely a weakness policy there somewhere, right? But let's see. Obstagoon, Milodig, Gardevoir, Meowstic, has Prankster. Hmm, Duraludon looks pretty nice here. Obstagoon can hit it with super effective move, I think, but otherwise we are looking pretty nice. I'm also considering Gyarados seems really nice here as well. I have the Babiri Berry, which is if Meowstic Thunder waves me, I'll be still fine. Maybe I'll go with the Gyarados this time. But yeah, Sand looks pretty nice here as well. Let's go ahead and use the Gyarados here. 
I'm not, once again, I can't bring uh, Whimsicott in this battle. Excadrill is pretty much only for the sand team, and let's let's just try it out. I don't have the best matchup ever, and I think my team is still lacking screens. Maybe I should switch Whimsicott out of here. I'm not using it in editing and get something. I mean, like Grimmsnarl with screens. Foul play fake out could be good. Maybe Gigantamax it. Comment below. How would you better this team? I've been really into the team building. You guys know I'm decent battler at the best, but I do like to uh, build and test out these teams. One of my favorite soundtracks, so let's up the voice a little bit music. We are both cute charmed here. I don't know what the meow stick is going to do. But I should help being hand KO something. I am going to KO the Gardevoir. Goodbye. I, sh I, I should have used probably safeguard, but I'm too greedy, I'm too greedy. I want that maxi boost. I'm predicting like Moonblast. I don't know. Thunder Wave from the Meowstick. That much that much I know. Thunder Wave from the Meowstick. I have no idea what the Gardevoir is doing. Fake out, okay, that's totally fine. Thunderbolt, ooh, that's bad. And it's outsped us, it's definitely choice card. But it doesn't really matter which move it chose. So now we are once again doing our Gyarados stuff. You guys remember it from the last battle. Plus one speed, plus one attack, and we have redirection with Clefable. Unfortunately, we took a lot of damage, so if they do have spread moves, we are in trouble. But pretty much now we can choose which Pokemon we want to get rid of. Agent Slash. Should I go after the Meow Stick this time? I think so. Agent Slash could... For some reason they always go for King Shield. I could go for an helping hand and KO the agent slash. Actually, I am probably even faster than it. Should I do that? I should prob. I'm probably going to lose my Gyarados here, but let's go ahead and use that. Yes. Now I just need my master plan to work here. <sighs> Don't max guard. Take the offensive stance, my friend. I should have more patience, but I'm so greedy. I'm so greedy. When I see that shiny, I gotta go after it. Let's see the thunder wave. Reflect. That's smart. That's actually really smart. My greed has cost me the game, probably. This should still do fair. Ah. Should have KO'd the Meow Stick there. And now we're in trouble, you guys. Max Steel Spike to Clefable. No, Clefable! I mean, their defense is up and... Ah, I set up the rain. I have fire blast on my Tyranidar, so that's bad. The rain is no good for us now. I think I'm gonna have to save the Tyranidar for now. And it is our shiny drill. And the beginning looked really nice here, but. I can always... Okay, I can just Dark Pulse anything I want, which is nice. 
should probably go after... Or should I... I could double in the boat, actually. Probably still get the KO. I could actually double in the Demiao stick as well, but... Should I go after the Agent Slash, actually? Or should I KO the Meow Stick? Max Guard would be, yeah. Totally, totally expected the Thunder Wave, but. Yeah. Curados lives to see another day. Yeah. Come on. Oh. Come on, Drilladon. Get that agent just out of here, nice. At least it's, it's three against two, and unfortunately the Meowstic can Thunder Wave the rest of my team, but... If Gyarados gets an attack here, it is going to do. My Lodic is the last one. Which one should I take out? Which one should I take out? I have hmm, Tyranitar in the back, which can probably deal with the Meowstic pretty easily, right? Should probably go after the Milotic here. Should I protect with Kyrados? I don't know. Too many mind games, too many mind games in this episode. Milotic protects, which is an, oh, such a good play here. No. You're too good, I should have went after the Meow Stick, but... And you should never double, uh, I should have not, not doubled into it. Damn it. But now we can, should I protect actually? No, I'm just gonna go for the Power Whip. There's probably going to be another Thunder Wave and... But if I get the Meowstick out, Tyrande can definitely deal with Meowstick. You are so good, I should have get rid of the Meowstick. Come on, connect, nice. The luck is on our side and through the reflect, you guys, through the reflect, this Gradus is a beast. Oh, get that Milotic out of here. Alright, it's Meowstick against the world. It's not over yet, it's never over yet. Until it's over. I've heard a, a wise man told me that once. I mean, with some good Thunder Wave RNG, you can do anything in this game. I like Meowstick, it's, it's cool, but it's not so popular. Any more Thunder Wave to do Raladon. But Thunder Wave can miss Chief. Oh, that Reflect is so good. Come on. And the light screen as well. And Meowstick is pretty bulky. And it has a berry, so anything can happen. No more rain. I mean, I can respect the person trying to battle it to the end. That's what we did, you guys. Alright, another Thunder Wave is gonna come out. It's the game of the RNGs, my friends. The game of the RNGs. Please don't... Why would you cancel the battle if you can Thunder Wave? Ugh, come on, Gerados, what are you doing? Yes, we got the victory, my friends, we got the victory. So, thank you very much for watching, and there should be a short outro here. We got the win. Okay, my friends, we got, went 2 and 1 with this team. It was definitely a crazy episode with those calls. Matchups seem to be, like, uh, pretty difficult and... We have to make some crazy calls to to make this to make the victories happen. But yeah, here's the team once again. I switched uh, the Dragable to the Raludon with Stalwart and Assault West, Dark Pulse, Thunderbolt, Tragometer, and Flash Cannon. 
Duraludon is here uh, only to deal damage and the stalwart ability lets it to hit what, whichever Pokemon you choose, follow me and uh, none of that stuff works so it's it's really good as you guys saw we were able to take out the Renuclus and prevent the Trick Room from happening there. Also uh, I was not able to show it too much but the Sand Team, Tyrander and Excadrill is still very good, very good. Uh, my favorite is of course Clef Able and Gyarados and the Whimsicott's just kinda hanging out in the right corner. What do you guys think? Should I... I'm, I'm actually thinking on adding like an Intimidate Arcanine on this team. We, we got has that switcheroo, but I, I used it with Dragabolt. It's really good. The switcheroo is really good against Gigantamax Lapras, because Gigantamax Lapras is going to Gigantamax on the first turn. And I do have, as you guys see, faster Pokemon than the uh, Lapras, so you can just switch the check button on it and get rid of the Dynamax. At least you have the Dynamax advantage from there. Taunt is uh, strictly for the... Uh, trick room setters uh, for uh, other shenanigans like Meowstic I could have probably countered with uh, Whimsicott. The only bad thing is my uh, Whimsicott is not max speed and most of the other Whimsicott are actually max speed. So I lost pretty much all, uh, I lost all of the Tailwind, uh, Tailwinds to the opponent and they were faster. So I just went with Taunt, so now I can Taunt the other Whimsicott. I should probably be max speed, but originally this Whimsicott had like Giga Train and stuff like that. It was pretty much, uh, it reminded a little bit about the Whimsicott we battled uh, on this episode. Uh, Moonblast, it just had better coverage than the grass, I think. Moonblast with both Clefable and Whimsicott. Moonblast is such a good, and Fake Tears too, it's especially lowers the uh it harshly lowers the special defense of opponents so pokemon like duraludon or tyranny that i can take advantage so that's why whimsicott is still here comment below what are your ideas to better this team i do like the sand team like you can start with tyranny there excatrill and they're both weak to ground but the opponent sees that you have like gyarados in the back and also duraludon is weak to ground but you have that gyarados in the back so you can just switch the gyarados and the ground moves will miss by the way i think the signature pokemon of my team is clefable with that cute charm and safety goggles do let me know what do you think about the clefable i mean say what you want about the clefable but i think it, it has been the mvp of this team it's been so good, like so good. O only thing I should probably s switch the safe card. As you guys saw, it didn't even pre prevent the yawn. I, it it probably should have went before the yawn the safe card. Uh, it's good to prevent like thunder wave and stuff like that. But we have Gyarados with the Lumberry already, which you guys saw is so valuable. There's also not not a lot of healing going on in my team. I have zero healing berries, so. Uh, I'm thinking on switching Clefable safeguard to Life Dew, and what Life Dew does is heal both of the Pokémon, and you can actually protect with the other Pokémon, and Life Dew will still also heal them. Anyways, this is a four-minute outro. If you guys watched this far, I really like to thank all of you for watching. It really means a lot to me. My channel has been getting a bit more attention, and I'm very grateful for that. I have new uh, followers. I have people interacting with them. Uh, channel which makes me really really happy so if you watch this far please sure to leave a like and remember to subscribe to the channel it uh, really does go go a long way and help me and comment below what would you do to uh, change this team to a better team and let's talk about pokemon anyways this is uh, enough of the outro thank you all for watching my name is veiku and see you next time bye bye